It's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. Let's discuss a meme that somebody passed along to me floating around on Instagram. It was this picture. A bunch of real-life combat sports athletes against martial arts actors in an eight-man UFC one-style tournament. In the first bracket, we have Muhammad Ali versus Tony Ja. On the other end, Bruce Lee versus George St. Pierre. And then on the other side of the bracket, Donnie Yen, Jun Zidane versus Conor McGregor. And on the other side of the bracket, Jet Li versus Mike Tyson. Who wins? Well, let me break down this tournament for you. The first fight of the night, Muhammad, Muhammad Ali versus Tony Jaw. Now, this is an interesting juxtaposition because this first round is martial arts actors, action stars versus real-life martial artists, combat sports athletes, but not just that, some of the best who ever played the game. So we have one of the best heavyweights, one of the best heavyweight boxing champions. Now, this is a UFC 1-style tournament, not a boxing match, so it's important to mention the strengths and weaknesses here. Now, I don't want to count Tony Jaw out right away just because he was a action star, because he's an actor. Because I've been to Thailand, and I've, man, I've trained with some of those dudes over there, and even the, the tuk-tuk drivers over there, over there, they, they, those dudes know Muay Thai. <laughs> it is shocking how people, how many people know how to fight who don't seem like they should know how to fight down there. I'm not saying everybody in Thailand knows Muay Thai, obviously not, but I wouldn't count Tony Jaw out right away because he is an actor. He is a phenomenal athlete, super athletic, does amazing stunts, does as far as I'm aware, all of his own stunts in his movies and some very impressive work, but the question is, can he fight? And can he fight against a man multiple weight classes above him who is not only one of the greatest boxers of all time, but... And did you know that Muhammad Ali was also a Taekwondo black belt under Grandmaster Jun Ri? A lot of people don't know that. They assume that Ali didn't know anything except for boxing. Man, Ali did a lot of stuff with his life to try to improve himself as a combat sports athlete, as a martial artist, and one of those was the pursuit of excellence. I mean, he trained with all kinds of people, karate practitioners, taekwondo practitioners, even earning a black belt, etc. He knew how to cook, kick, he knew how to fight in the context of kicking as well, so I'm giving this first round to Muhammad Ali, but... I wouldn't say that he's just going to absolutely squash Tony Jaw, but it probably will be the most compelling fight of this first round out of the actors versus combat sports athletes. So on the other side of the bracket, we have George St. Pierre, one of the most dominant champions in UFC history, one of the most well-rounded, most experienced, simply best martial artists to ever play the game, to ever compete in the sport of mixed martial arts against Bruce Lee, the man, the myth, the legend himself. George squashes Bruce in this fight on Bruce's best day, even if the myths propagated by the Church of Jeet Kune Do were 100% true, George St. Pierre still wins this. He is just physically superior. He is bigger. He is stronger. He is faster. He is more experienced by far in every measurable way. By every metric, GSP squashes Bruce in this fight. I'm sorry to say I love Bruce Lee, but he's not going to win this fight against GSP. It is just a heavenly Im heavily imbalanced fight. Next, we have Donnie Yen, Jun Zidane, his Chinese name, versus Conor McGregor. I love Donnie Yen, man. I have worked with with one of the members of his stunt team. He came and trained with me in mixed martial arts. I love what Donnie Yen has done to promote the sport of mixed martial arts in China, to promote Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and to promote all, the, all these new combat sports that most people had no clue about in the People's Republic through his movies. And I have a ton of respect for the man and his abilities. But Conor McGregor wins this fight. He just does. He's just... A better fighter. He's a more experienced fighter. As cool as Donnie Yen 
makes his fight choreography look on film. Conor McGregor is a much more complete, much more experienced, much more aggressive, and simply put, better fighter. He wins. Next round, Jet Li versus Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson stomps him. All due respect to Jet Li, but uh, even if we're talking about prime Jet Li, nope, not happening. So we have all of the actors out of the way, and we're left with the combat sports athletes. So in the next round, we have Muhammad Ali versus GSP. And this is an interesting fight because, again, UFC won rules. Muhammad Ali just fought a fight against Tony Ja. This was a striking match. They were probably kicking and punching at each other. They probably spent themselves a little bit, probably took some damage along the way. GSP, how did he beat... Bruce Lee, he took him down, smothered him, squashed him, strangled him. It ended pretty quickly. GSP didn't take a lot of damage in this fight. He's coming in fairly fresh. GSP is going to use a very similar tactic against Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was a phenomenal striker, but not, not well-versed in grappling. So GSP takes him down, smothers him. It's done fairly quickly. GSP is still pretty fresh in this tournament after round two. On the other side of the bracket, we have Conor McGregor versus Mike Tyson. Ooh-wee. This is interesting. This is where we're going to see Conor McGregor pull out his other tools besides his MMA boxing that he was so famous for that, that won him his UFC titles. Now, people often think of Conor McGregor as a one-dimensional title, because, or a one-dimensional fighter, because he would always impress us with his knockout power, with his touch of death in his left hand. But we're going to see him as a mixed martial artist here go up against a very aggressive boxer. And if Mike wants to win, he's going to have to, he's going to have to get aggressive. And this is a tough one. There's a big size difference here, but it's not so big it's not so big that Connor doesn't overcome it, man. I think, I think I'm going to give this one to Connor. He's not well known for his grappling, but I think even, even Connor's jujitsu is enough to surprise Iron Mike Tyson in his prime. Man, maybe he's going to leg kick him to death. I don't know. Maybe Tyson would surprise us <laughs> and starch Connor. I don't know. But I'm going to give it to. Connor, he's going to take some damage in this fight, though. He's not going to come out with a win, even a submission win over Mike Tyson without taking some damage. So we have GSP going against a fatigued and damaged Connor McGregor. GSP is going to take this one. Even on their best day going in there completely fresh, I would still give the nod to GSP. He is bigger, in my opinion. He is a more complete fighter. He's better. GSP wins this tournament. Was anybody surprised with my pick? What was your pick? Let me know if you had a different idea about the way this tournament would have gone down. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Now get out there and train.